Welcome to episode 13 of Share. This week we'll be showing you subdomain FTP user and directory permission setup on GoDaddy hosting. Hello, my name is Michael Faro, and I'll be your host on this week's episode of Share. This week we're going to go over some uh, setup of um, subdomain FTP users and directory permissions over at uh, GoDaddy for their shared hosting. Uh, we actually use this for some of our clients. So first thing we're going to do is go to GoDaddy.com and log in. And uh, anyone who's who has an account here, this will look familiar. So what we're going to do here is first uh, go to the hosting. We'll pick uh, the domain that we want to set up the subdomain on. We're going to start with a subdomain, um, then we're going to add an FTP user for that particular subdomain, and then we'll also put some directory permissions on it, so that way we can limit uh, the logins to view it uh, to the client. So if you go under settings and domain management, Now here we see the domain that we want to set up on, and we're going to click on subdomains. We're going to click on manage here. Okay, so here's some there's a, here's a list of subdomains already set up. What we're going to do is add a new one. Now here I'll just give it some random name. We love local wisdom, and we want it to create the same uh, subdirectory as the domain. So under this domain in the FTP it's actually going to create a folder called we love localism and that's where this subdomain is going to point to as its root. So hit OK. And it's pending creation. Now we should be able to start setting up the FTP user just fine. So we'll do that now. Uh, if we go under settings, actually let's just go back to home. And you go to settings manage FTP users and here we're going to add a new user there's a list of current users okay now the thing that's important to see here is that the FTP username has to be verified for uniqueness across all the hosting accounts in their system so it's you can't just create Mike because chances are Mike is used by somebody else in all the FTP um, hosting that GoDaddy does so it has to be something, you know, pretty unique. Um, what I'm going to do is just create something really random. It's called Mike. And the password, it actually does have some requirements. So I'll put in my super secret password here. And what I'm going to tell it to do is point to We Love Local Wisdom. Now what you can do here too is if you're creating this from scratch, you could use the same um, path as the username. So if I created Mike, it would make a slash Mike folder and point to that. But I want it to point, I want that username to point to We Love Local Wisdom. And then we'll do save here. And hopefully it won't give me any errors as far as the uniqueness of this user. Great. Okay. So we're here pending setup. And let's go back to home and see if the settings the domain management have finished. Now this stuff tends to take a little while to get out of pending mode so if it does uh, if we get stuck any, at any point here I'll just uh, pause the video and do a little food show uh, cooking you know food show magic and fast forward. Okay so our next step we uh, we set up the subdomain. We set up the FTP user pointing to that same subdomain, uh, at least the root folder. Now we want to set up permissions to make sure that people from the outside can't get into it without having a particular username or password. So by default, any uh, subdomain that you set up is going to be open to the world. Uh, we have the uh, We Love Local Wisdom folder here. So what I'm going to do is click on uh, the little checkbox next to it. Go to permissions. Now, as you can see by default, it's visible to everyone. These are just the standard permissions uh, for anonymous users. And then you can go to advanced permissions, 
um, you can get a little bit more granular with it. What we're interested here in is the last tab that says password protect. We're going to password protect a directory. Um, this is a little prompt message that will show up. Um, so what we're going to do is enter username and password for we love local wisdom. And then we're going to add users. And um, we have one already created here. What we're going to do is create a new one. Um, let's make this unique also. I don't think we could use something. Well, let's try something simple. Let's see if it let's see if it'll let us do it. Oh, it did. Okay. Okay. And hit OK. And that should do it. So what I'm going to try to do is test this out. See if it's up and running. A username and password is being requested by the website. The site says enter username and password for We Love Localism. Now there's no files in here, but you get the idea. It let me in. Because well, there's nothing in here to show. So, um, And that's pretty much it. So we went through... Um, let me let me I'll just recap real quick so you go to the domain uh, sorry the host uh, manager you go to settings domain management under there you can set up the subdomain under over here on the right hand side manage FTP users you would set up a user specifically to FTP over to that uh, subdomain and under content the file manager which is right here, will allow you to set up directory permissions so that people would actually have to log in. So this kind of gives you uh, the whole the whole spectrum of uh, setting up a subdomain for a client. Um, you know, set up uh, like a client share, uh, upload your staging site to it, lock it down, give them the login. Uh, you hold on to the FTP um, user information for uh, your developer. So thank you for watching this week's episode, and I hope you find this useful. If you have any tech problems that need a how-to guide or ideas for an episode, send an email to share at localwisdom.com, and we'll try to get them on a podcast. Our show runs off of your questions, so please send those requests in, and if your idea ends up being a share episode, we'll send you a little gift to show our appreciation. Thanks.